Hello everyone, KYTC Central Office CAD support here. My name is Corinne Sherman and I am a Transportation Engineer 1. Today I'm going to be walking you through a specific workflow that is related to annotations. As I mentioned, the workflow I'm going to be highlighting today is changes to our annotation groups. Specifically, I'm going to be walking through how you would add an existing edge of payment annotation to your cross section. Just some house cleaning items before I get started. I am running ORD 2022 Release 3, and this corresponds with the 1012 version of ORD and our corresponding CAD standards. Thus, when I'm referencing the GGN Lib and cell libraries throughout this workflow, I have detailed here for you the path that you would find that file in the 1010 version of our standards and also the version that I'm using, 1012. Furthermore, before I jump into the workflow, I want to just highlight some key terminology that you'll be hearing me say in this workflow. For example, you've already heard me say annotation group. Um, annotation groups are the groups that you will overarchingly select when you're going to annotate your drawing model. Subsequently, annotation definitions are the individual items within a group that are being annotated and being sought out for. Then you have your feature definitions. You have element templates, levels, and we will also be walking you through setting up a cell. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and open up that DGN lamp that I was talking about. We're going to go ahead and navigate over in our Explorer tab, Open Road Standards. Now we're going to be making changes to how our cross sections are annotating. So we're going to come over here to Annotation Groups. Again, we're going to be focusing on adding something to our cross section annotation. So as I am expanding these, you're going to notice that there are multiple versions of annotation for cross sections. Changes would have to be made to each one of these if you wanted them to be reflected in each one. But for example, today, I'm just going to focus on a five scale full size, full size all. So right click and hit manage. Now, here is the annotation group specifically for five scale, full size all. All these terms on the left side are annotation definitions. We're going to add a new annotation definition that's called a point annotation. Let's go ahead and expand all these. First things first, location. How this works is this annotation definition is looking for a point name, a feature name, okay? And in this case, because we're looking for edge of pavement, we're going to go ahead and build our expression using that. So we're going to go find it. Okay. In order for this to process, you have to hit add, and you also have to hit ap apply changes. Okay, first line. Next line, how is it going to annotate? We're going to want this to annotate with a cell. Template is asking for the element template, another keyword that I said that we would be mentioning. Now, you must keep in mind that the annotation template that you're looking for needs to correspond to plan, profile, and cross section. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. Again, we're going to go drill down to that same edge of pavement. set. We don't need a leader line. The only other thing that needs to be added now is the cell. We currently do not have a cell set up to label existing edge of payment. However, after I complete this step, I will walk through how you would create a cell for this case, or honestly create a cell for anything that you want to label in general. So in this case, I created Excel that was called EX EOP. There it is. And that's it for setting up your definition to then be applied to your annotation group. OK, now I am in a blank 2D ORD file. Just to test and show you all how the annotation now looks, um, I'm going to just go ahead and attach a existing terrain 
um, really quickly. Okay, all set. Go ahead and make that terrain active to create the 3D model. Awesome. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to draw in a quote dummy center line and dummy edge of payment lines. Okay. I need to make sure that I have my geometry set for these. So I need to open up some profile models and make those active. Perfect. Now I'm going to go cut that name boundary. Create my path element. I'm just doing it by two points. All set. Open that 3D view. Again, this is just me walking through creating that cross-section drawing. Go ahead and open it up in the drawing model. So now that I have this drawing model open for my cross-section, I'm going to now annotate it using the annotation group that I made the change to specifically or else it's not going to carry through. Go ahead and re-annotate it. Remember, choose the one that you made the changes in. And there you have it. You now have that label for existing edge of pavement. Now it is time to make the cell. Really quickly in an overview, here are the steps that I'm going to walk through for you. Now, since we already have a lot of cells in place for labels, such as existing right of way and such, I just went ahead and copied an existing cell that we had like I said, proposed right away, you can copy it in. Then I'm going to obviously change the text for existing right away, proposed right away, and have it say existing edge of payment. Then I'm going to go ahead and set the cell origin so then I can then in turn create the cell. And as you know, we have a lot of cell libraries, but I went ahead and added this one to the roadway.cell. And now I'm going to walk you through these steps. So now I'm in the roadway cell DGN lib. Of course, you have all the different cells created. Now, as I mentioned, I use proposed right away um, as my template. So all I did was just copy it. As you can see, I moved it over here. I went ahead and set my cell origin for it. Got to do that first before you create the cell. Select everything that you want as the cell. Cells. Again, make sure that you are in the roadway cell, and then you'll be able to create the cell. And then that way, when you go back into your annotation group, um, you'll be able to have that uh, drop down for the cell that you want for labeling. Thank you for watching this workflow. If you have any questions, please visit our KYTC CAD support website. Um, there's also a link to our technical support form on that website for all of your CAD support needs. Thank you.